Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Sitra Hafiz and you're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the news. A Russian warplane collided with an American drone while flying over the Black Sea, resulting in the drone being completely destroyed. The US military says that the US drone MQ-9 has crashed in the Black Sea after being intercepted by a Russian Su-27 fighter jet. According to the U.S. military officials, the U.S. drone was on routine operations in international airspace when the Russian warplane attempted to intercept the U.S. MQ-9 Raptor drone. According to the officials, the Russian plane collided with the drone while trying to stop the American drone. As a result of the collision, the American drone was completely destroyed. The U.S. military officials termed this action of the Russian aircraft as unsafe and unprofessional, saying that the Russian aircraft had passed close to the American drone several times and tried to drop oil on it, which is against environmental and professional ethics. It was a counterproductive. Russia has rejected the American claim that the Russian fighter jet collided with an American drone, according to the foreign media. The United States claimed yesterday that a Russian warplane allegedly collided with an American drone while flying over the Black Sea, and the drone was completely destroyed. The U.S. military said that the U.S. drone MQ-9 crashed in the Black Sea after being intercepted by a Russian Su-27 fighter jet. According to the U.S. military officials, the U.S. drone was on routine operations in international airspace when the Russian warplane attempted to intercept the U.S. MQ-9 Raptor drone. According to the officials, the Russian plane collided with the drone while trying to stop the American drone. As a result of the collision, the American drone was completely destroyed. On the other hand, Russia rejected the American claim that the Russian fighter jet collided with the American drone. Today, the International Day Against Islamophobia is being celebrated. The purpose of celebrating this day is to try to stop the hatred and acts of violence against the Muslim community around the world. The Christchurch attack was a reflection of the deadly consequences of Islamophobia. Four years ago, today, a gunman attacked two mosques in Christchurch, killing 51 people. In this incident, where 51 people were killed, 40 were also injured. Stay with us, we'll come after the break. Pakistan, America, and the world is not a good thing. Malmati and Heritage News. If you are not a good thing, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So that you can see the video. Click on the link in our link tree and the link in our link tree. Click on the link in our link tree. Click on the link in our link tree. In a suicide attack in the capital of Somalia, 11 people, including the governor, were injured and 5 people were killed. A side bomber donated a car filled with explosives at a key government guest house in Somalia's capital. The blast was so powerful that the windows of the nearby buildings were broken and vehicles parked in the guest house were destroyed. More than 15 important government figures, including the governor, were staying in the guest house. The security personnel of the guest house said that a speeding vehicle did not stop despite the signal, then fired at the tire and punctured the vehicle on which the driver of the car blew up the car. If the vehicle had not been punctured, the suicide bomber had managed to gain further entry. The death toll would have been much higher. Five people were killed in the suicide attack, while 11 people, including the governor, were injured. The rangers and the police acting jointly on the basis of intelligence information arrested three suspects involved in several incidents of robbery and street crimes from the Maripur road area of Karachi. According to the spokesperson of Rangers, Muhammad Anwar Bengali, Muhammad Samir Ilyas Riaz, and Irfan Bengali have been arrested. From whose possession, one 30 bore pistol and one 9 mm pistol, along with ammunition, have been recovered. According to the spokesman, the accused are involved in more than 60 incidents of snatching mobile phones, cash, and motorcycles from citizens in different areas of Karachi in Maripur Road, Sinwari Hotel. Gulbai, ICI, Bridge, and Fishery. In this regard, the spokesman of the Rangers says that during the initial investigation, the accused have confessed to robbery, street crimes, and injuring several people by shooting them on resistance. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.